algebra. In today's session, we'll be covering different types of algebra problems, and it'll start from easy and it'll go all the way to tough. I would highly recommend you, if you're new to this channel, to subscribe to our channel because we have uploaded a lot of videos about algebra. And if you go back to our channel, you would find one of the algebra, basic algebra we did a couple of months back. You, you could just go and have a look for that one and then come back to these hard ones. This algebra is basically for the kids who are giving 11 plus entrances. You might get these sums like sums like these in your 11 plus entrances or in your private school entrances. If you are doing SATs, you might also get some algebra problems in your SATs also. So let's get started now. The first one is in February, three salesmen working in an electronic store sold a total of 140 laptops. Ben sold half as many laptops as Sin, who sold half as many as Michael. You need to work out how many computers each of these salesmen sold in February. So I'll give you a second, a minute to look at the question and I'll do the working out with you guys. And then you can check if you're working out the same as mine or you need any other if you want to change your answer or something, it's it's entirely up to you guys. So let's get started now. And remember, in the end, to like and subscribe to the video. Because uh, if you give a like to the video, it's really nice for us to make lots and lots of new videos for you guys in which you will learn a lot of algebra problems. Should we go with the working out now? Are you guys done? You could also check your answers with mine to see that if you got the same answer or you did not. So let's get started now. I'll be using a textbook for you guys so you do it more. So B or B would be Ben for me. Ben would be B is for Ben. S is for Sin. And the last one is M is for Michael. So I have done three of their names like that. B, S, and M. So I'll make a column. I'll, uh, I think I need to be doing this one a little bigger for you guys so you can have a look. And you can have a look now. So as I told you, B is for Ben and Sin is, is, is S and Michael is M. So as we know that, let's say Ben sold how much he sold? He sold, I'll say W. And how much did Sin sold? He, let's do it this way. B is for Ben, and we know that he sold, let's say he sold W and Sin, it's given to us, he sold double of him, so it's 2W. And the last one is Michael. We know that it's it's told us that Ben sold half as many as laptops as Sin, who sold half as many as Michael. So Michael the one who sold lots of them. So Michael would be 4W. And in and you know that W plus 2W plus 4W, the total, how many laptops are sold is 140. And then I will divide 140 by 7. Divide by 7. That gives me 20. So this is your first step. You all will be doing that. So 
how much did he sold it's 20 so who is 20 obviously 20 is ben we know that ben sold 20 laptops and how much did cyan did he did for him you would be doing 2 multiply by 20 that's 40 That will be 40 and the last one is he fought four he told he sold really a lot of them than him so that will be four into 20 that's 80. so we got all of them how much each one of them sold you can double check your answer and see how much is your total. If you add them up, if you add all of them up, if you add 80 plus 40 plus 20, that total gives you is, gives you 140. That's the total of the laptops what are sold. So we are done with this one now. That's number one. So let's move on to number two now. I will zoom in for you guys. For number two. Number two is last week, 11552 people in Manchester matched, Manchester watched football match live on tv these are how many number of people watch football match live in manchester the number of men and children who watched the match was 8763 and the number of men and women who watched was 5874 5, so what are they basically asking you they're asking you watch out the number of women who watched children who watched and the men who watched the match live so you need to work out of each one of them how much did they do for watching how much how many of them basically not how much how many of them watched the match so first you need to find out how many women watched the match and then you're supposed to find how many men watched the match so look at this question and try doing it yourself and i'll then i'll do the working out again with for you guys and the best thing, if you have something like this in algebra, I would say that just write down as much information is given to you. We say that in our tuition ELT also to the kids that you should write down as much information is given to you. And after that, try working it out. So let's do as much information is given to us. The information given to us is, let's say, moment equals to X, men equals to Y, and children equals to Z. Another thing was given to us is X plus Z, that's, remember, Y is men and Z is children. So we are already given Men plus children equals to eight, seven, six, three. I will write in the brackets for you guys don't get confused. This is children plus men. And the next thing was given to you is x plus y, sorry, x plus y, that equals to five, eight, seven four that's basically moment plus men so basically 
what we have to find is just look at the information what i have written for you i have written w equals to x w is women equals to x men equals to y and children equals to z and this is what we have given so we have been given we have been given x plus y equals to 5874 that's women plus men so we have to find out how much women watch the match to find out how much women watch the match we basically need to minus the total what's given to us so i forgot to write one thing for you guys that is x plus y plus z the total is given to us the total who watch the match are that's the total number of people who watch the match this is basically given sorry this is basically given to you the total number of people who watch the match is given to you children and men so first you have to find out how many women watch the match so to find how much women watch to watch the match you basically need to minus the total from the men plus children so i will minus 1 1552 or i'll just use so let's write everything was given to us because some of you are getting confused x plus y plus z equals to One one, one one five two, and the next is y plus z. That equals to eight seven six three. And in the brackets, I will write so you don't get confused. That's that's men plus children. these are all the information that's given to us remember that this is all the information that's given to you and this is basically women plus men so all this information is given to you so now you have to find how many women watch the match so you need to basically minus from 11552 minus 8763 so with this we will get what our x is our x is 2789 and remember what we did was another thing if you're getting confused x equals to women y equals to men and the last one c equals to z children so with this we found out how many women are there so after find out how many women are there we know that we are just going to put that in so x plus y you found out what x is so how many uh, men watched the match now you need to find out what is y so to find y i'm just writing how much information was given to you guys x plus y equals to 587 4 in this you guys know what x is plus y equals to 5874 and after that 
Remember that in algebra, when something like this happens, you change signs. When you go on the opposite side, when it goes to the opposite side, it will change sign. So, 5, 8, 7, 4, minus 2, 7, 8, 9. With this, I come to know what y is. y equals to 3, 0, 8, 5. First, we found out how many women are there. Then we found out how many men are there. So what's the last thing you guys need to find out? The last thing what you need to find out is how many, how many children are there. So how, to find how many children are there, you just need to do y plus z. Sorry, uh, you need to find out how many children are there. You just need to do men plus children was given to you. The third equation, this one. Sorry, this one. Men plus children is two. 763. Y you know is 3053. Again, we will put them as substitutes. We will put 3085 plus Z equals to we have been given 87. 8763 8763 and when you do on the other side it becomes minus 3085 that gives you 5678 that's your answer so this is how many children are there. So we found out how many women are there, how many men are there, and the last one, how many children are there. So there were three steps in this one. If you go back to the question, if you go back to the question, it asks you, work out the number of women who watched, children who watched, and men who watched. So you have worked out everyone who watched, with this, this is our working out. You could go back to our working out and see how many of them watched. I'll be leaving question. We'll be going on to number four. Number three is not the one you guys need to do in 11 plus. That's really hard one. I'll leave that one and I will move on. To number four now number four is the same way as we did the previous ones i'll give you guys a minute again to try working it out and then i will go with you all to work out it's the same way as we did number one the total age of grandma mom and myself add up to 105 grandma is twice as old Two times as old as mom and mom is twice as old as I am. Can you work out old of the three of us are? So basically in this one, you need to work out the age of all three of them. It's the same way as we did the previous one. But in this, the first one what we did is absolutely the same one. So let's move on with our... If you want to see the question again, it's here. It's the fourth one we are doing now. We are doing this one. The total age of grandma, mom, and myself add up to 105. Grandma is twice as old as mom, and mom is twice as old as I am. Can you work out the old all three of us are? So I'm working out all three of us. So the same thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call, because grandma is the one, obviously, which is she's bigger than all of them. So grandma would be 4W and obviously mom would be two times as grandma and me would be only W. Again, all the ages, total ages is also given to you. 
His total of the ages is 105 years. That's the total age. You need to find out the age of each one of them. And when you work that out, that becomes that's an easy one again. 105. And then you need to divide when it goes on the other side, multiply becomes divide. That gives you 15. So 15 is my age. So what is my grandma's age? Grandma is, as you know that she is four times at that. So four multiply by 15. That gives me 60. And my mom's age. My mom's age would be. Two times fifteen. That gives you thirty. So we have worked out all the ages. Fifteen is my age. G is grandma's age and W is, sorry, M is my age. So this is all the ages we have worked out in this one. So I'll put the next one for you guys. Try doing that one now. I'll give you two minutes to work this one out now. Three boys between them score 39 goals last month. Brindley scored three times as many goals as Jacob and Jacob scores three times as many goals as Sin. So you need to work out how many goals each of the three boys scored. So you need to work out how much each of the boys score. So let's, I'll give you a minute to look at this one and then we will work out the answers. <clears throat> Try doing the same way as we did if you will. Try working out and then look at my working out the way I work this one out. It's the same way as we are doing lot, uh, all of them. It's absolutely the same way as we did the previous one. So let's go with our working out. I'll rub the working out of the previous one for you all. So you can start doing the working out of this one. So let's get started. So... Bradley, we know, scores nine. Jacob, we know, score three W. And Sin, we know, score W. So again, we are going to write all of them. 9W plus 3W plus W. And we know the total goals were scored were 39. And that is 13 equals to 39. And sorry, 13, I forgot to write W. W equals to 39. And then when we change sides, remember multiplication becomes divide, it becomes 13, and then W equals to three goals. So if W is three, we can work out each one of them. 
now we need to work out how much did Jacob score and how much did Brindley score. So again, we will be doing the same thing. That would be 9 multiplied by This is 3, sorry. This gives you 3. Multiply by 3. That's 27. We know he scores 27. And sin, we know that he scored is third, score 3. And Jacob is 3 times 3. That's 9. So he scores 9. If you want me to write it down, I'll do it for you guys. It's here. 3 multiply by 3. That gives me 9. And 9 multiply by 3 gives me 27. So this is the score of Jacob is J. And this one is for CN is S. So we'll be doing one more today. And then I will be continuing doing more algebra in part two. That would be next week for you guys. So remember to turn in for next week more questions about this. So the next, the last one for today is here for you guys. Number six. The congregations of South Okendon local church totals. We know the total number of channel is 364 people. There are 18 more women than men in the church. So there are 18 more women than men. You need to work out the men and the women who are attending the club. This one is little comp little different from the ones you did, but Try doing it yourself again, and then I will do the working out for you. So let's go with the working out for the last one for today. We always we tell you all to write as much information is given to you. So you know the total of the... Church equals to three six four. Let's again call men as W. So we know that number of men plus women equals to three six four. And we know that men are women are 18 more than men. So I'll put that in brackets. It's W plus 18. That gives me the total is given to me is 364. You need to open the brackets. That's 2W. equals to 364 that becomes minus 18 and then w equals to 2 you need to minus 364 minus 18 that is 346 and then you have to divide it by 2 because the sign changes and that's 173. So you know what W is, is 173. You know that 173 is men plus 170. I'll put this in brackets again. 173 plus 18 gives you 364 again 
try to open the brackets. That's 173. You're adding them up is 191. That gives you 364. So this is our equation. This is the way how we did it. Have a look at this. M was for men. W for for movement is 365. Then movement plus movement plus 18 gives you 365. Men we have done as men is as W and men plus movement. Total is 165, but in this I'll call men as W, so women is 18 more than men, so W plus 18 is 365. W, if you're getting confused, I, we are calling men as W. 365, then 2W two equals to 365 minus 18. W equals to 1, 3, 4, 6 divided by 2. That's 173. And 173 plus 173 plus 18 gives you 364. And 173 plus 191 gives you 354. So you know that this is 173 is your men. And 191 is your women. So we did six of the algebra problems today and I explained you each one of them. And next week we will go with the next one. We'll go with number seven, eight, nine, ten, and we'll be doing more of them last next week. Stay tuned for having the same video of algebra coming for you guys for next week. So don't forget to like our videos if you have not. And thanks for watching all of you. If you have missed some of the steps, I would tell you to go back and watch them again. Thanks for watching.